Hey, how are you doing? It's Adam Oxby here. Currently standing in front of the charger. It is just about four o'clock in the morning and this is charge number one on another electric vehicle adventure to France. Now, I'm going from Colchester to catch a ferry in Portsmouth Conventionally, that would be a three hour drive, and I've factored in two charges along the way. So I know my maths is a bit ropey, but even then, that is a big leeway of error, of a, a margin of error. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit, still a little bit sleepy. Now, the reason why I'm leaving such a big margin of error is because I quite like wandering and roaming and meandering around but when I've got somewhere I need to be i.e. a ferry terminal I get very panicky and want to have a nice big time a nice big time advantage so that's why I'm leaving myself so much time because in case things go wrong or in case unforeseen circumstances happen I want to have the time to be able to react to that so also I should say this is the first time I've used Ecotricity since they introduced their new charging method um, sort of, pay, you have to pay. I think it's about thirteen pence per kilowatt hour. I have to check that. The app's not being very helpful in telling me how much I'm spending. But uh, if you're an Ecotricity customer, you still get yourself connected for free. You don't have to pay the, the connection fee, which is good if you're a home customer. So this is charge number one. The next one will be in Cobham, which is south. On the M25. If you think of the M25, that big circular motorway around London, I'm at Thurrock, which is about three o'clock, and the next one is going to be about seven o'clock, if you think of the M25 as a clock. And then from there, it's just driving straight down south to Portsmouth, where unfortunately and surprisingly there is no charger, so it would be really nice to have been able to charge there, but still only two charges in England and then the rest is charging in France which will be as always an interesting experience love to hear that whine of the electricity and the roar of the fans as all that good renewable energy juice flows into my machine so I'm here at Cobham um, which is the second charge I'm charging at and it is currently 25 past 5 in the morning and I'm at about 81% and this is the last charge in England and I've just heard a bit of the shipping forecast and everything sounds slight or moderate or smooth so should have a nice easy crossing I'm at 97% now let's head to the ferry cars behind me charging. I'm in the town of Antran. I know I've pronounced that really badly but basically I'm out of Normandy and heading into Brittany and so far it's gone really well. I only had one problem I should mention actually. Normandy. Always always Normandy. I think that's gonna be my new catchphrase from now on. Normandy. So here's the problem. I got to the one charger which I was fairly confident would work and it was right by the coast so I thought I'm going to have a lovely little cycle around while I'm charging up. I tried the app and the app, what it does is once you scan the barcode it takes you to a website where you put your phone number in and then you get sent a text message and I think you've got to respond to that with some credit card details and that's going to release the door to allow you to use the charger. Well, it didn't like my telephone number and I tried to the second option, which is to phone up this automated number. Press one if you want to start charging. Press two if you want to disconnect. I press one. Obviously, it's all in French and my French is uh, okay. It's not fantastic. So understanding all of this was a bit tricky. So I press one 
I've got to then type in the number of the pump and then it says something I, I didn't understand and I got my friend to help me and basically said this pump's not going to work for you I thought oh, great this is just what I want so I'll just drive another 10 kilometers down the road and find one that does work and it charged pretty quickly I went for a cycle I'm about 110 kilometers away from my final destination and I could probably do it but I think for the sake of my sweaty palms and my poor heart I'm just going to have a little 10-20 minutes in between at one of the other slightly slower charges just to get me enough to get me to my final destination hopefully for around nine o'clock so it's a little bit early to start talking about my final thoughts but what can I deduce so far well I last came here just about two years ago and in the same car and back then things were a lot more hairy um, it took two days I was driving a longer distance in France I was driving from Calais right away through to saint -Brieuc. and I was relying mostly on these these types these sort of rapid ones which were operated by the um, supermarket Auchan and they were really good really reliable perfect until you got to Normandy uh, again Normandy that big expanse in the middle of France where you could have a desert of sort of a hundred kilometers without anything and I was relying on Renault garages to plug in and I was usually I was using a type 3 cable which I now thankfully are being phased out but you could get two different types of type 3 cables <laughs> who knew and I was on the one which meant that the charges were going instead of an hour two hours they were sort of clocking up about four or five hours which just made things miserable and I vowed never to do that again but I had a look at the France charging network and you know their commitment to clean vehicles is evident we read in the news recently that they're going to be aiming to phase out all petrol and diesel car sales by 2040 which is like mind blown you know and their network apart from that one little hiccup seems to be improving and seems to be um, reliable you do you do still have to carry around a shed load of cards for all of these things we've got the Brev car which is what I'm going to be going into soon so I need to keep that one out the Kiwi pass this is the one that I used predominantly last trip to access all of the supermarket rapid charges that's really useful uh, I've got myself a charge map. Charge map are a French company who operate a charging map, a bit like Zap Map in the UK, but they sell these for about 14 euros. And what they're trying to do, bless them, is to you have this one card to operate all of these other cards. So they're trying to bring on board all of the other provincial networks. Not Normandy though. Normandy. This one you accesses one charger at the supermarket closest to my friends in Sambria. Uh, Waitrose card, used to get a free coffee. Well, actually, I used to charge at Waitrose, not anymore. And they are so not going to be needing that today. So, all these cards, all these networks, but it's been fun. I've gone to beautiful places like this. You know, this is a lovely place to be. You know, you've got driving through all these old villages with their buildings and uh, lovely churches there's fantastic churches and monuments and having a bike ride on the uh, on the seashore it's lovely and it's what a holiday should be and you know I do drive an electric car for environmental reasons but also I enjoy it because it forces me to appreciate the places that I come to and yeah it's fun it's the return journey and this holiday has not only been about charging obviously there's been some bike riding exercising and partying involved <laughs> For this video I'm obviously talking about the charging situation 
and I'm currently charging at this supermarket in Cherbourg, about sort of 15 kilometers away from the port, with plenty of time to spare. Uh, that's because the return journey was even easier than getting down. The charger that I had trouble with coming down in Normandy was fine, and I managed to sort it all out myself, which I'm rather pleased with. So, as I am on the verge of getting on the boat, back to England, my thoughts, my final thoughts on charging in France or driving an electric vehicle in France, well it's certainly a lot better than what it was. Uh, this time around the two things that I've really noticed and have been very grateful for was not having to use any of their Type 3 charging cables. Last time around I had to borrow a special cable called a Type 3 cable which seemed to be quite prevalent in France and maybe because I got the wrong type of cable because I've just been informed that there's different types um, you know you don't expect or don't want to be an electrician to be able to fuel your vehicle but you know in some respects that's what that's one of the prices you pay for being on the frontiers or something anyway anyway so this cable was a type 3 cable and it reduced my ordinarily my charging speed is on as you know one of these sort of fast chargers not one of these rapid chargers which I'm charging at the supermarket now Ordinarily, I can get a full charge in about you know 40 minutes, which is pretty good. But with these Type 3 cables, I was down to about three hours, which was just crippling, you know, really was. And driving through Normandy, I, the only choice I had at the time was to use Renault garages, and they are only accessible in office hours, which in France can be a little bit problematic. And with the diminished speed, it just made things. If I'm honest, a bit miserable. But I've seen a dramatic rise in the amount of publicly accessible chargers which are easily accessible. Still need to carry a deck of cards to be able to access everything, but still, it's a step in the right direction. They're in quite nice places for the most part. They're in, I went to a seaside town and had a couple of coffees while I checked a few things and did a bit of stuff on the laptop, so that was quite fun. Elsewhere, outside of Normandy, there, there are more and more rapid and fast charges appearing. As long as you've got the right card for the right network, then it's not really a problem. And although this is probably the last trip I'm going to do to France in this particular model of the Renault Zoe, I'll definitely come again once I get the upgraded version. And with uh, with the extra miles that you get with the newer versions, and as you used to know, every year these cars get more and more range as the battery technology improves and they become more affordable for car manufacturers you know with the new vehicle i could take, make this trip again using only two charges in france which is which is pretty good you know because as i've said and as many people say nobody wants to drive for that length of time without a break you know people want to go to the toilet you want to look around and see where you are and have a coffee and have a croissant and just experience traveling in another country which is part of it you know part of the fun and for 30 minutes you know if you've got a family or passengers getting everybody out toileted have a drink could probably take half an hour at least so it's you know it's not a an arduous journey to make and an unpleasant thing to do um, so yeah I am I am impressed I am optimistic that charging in France is going to get easier and easier and that's only going to be a good thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this and I look forward to speaking to you again as always, really soon.